Santa Barbara, California is this year's men's college soccer destination, a peaceful place where the Dolphins and the surfers can enjoy the same waves, the same fun. But when the evening hits and the sun goes slowly down in Santa Barbara, the fans come out in droves to Harder Stadium, home to this year's Men's College Cup. And we'll have a College Cup field tonight. It's UCSB and it's Duke next on FSC. Hello, everybody. I'm Dean Link, along with my broadcast partner, Keith the Bassick, and this is the NSCA Men's College Soccer Review. And what a better place. This is going to be the home to the Men's College Cup this year. Yeah, it is going to be the home for the College Cup. And why not? Because there are so many people that come out to watch games. Almost 16,000 earlier this year against UCLA. It's going to be a big crowd tonight. Why? The Duke Blue Devils are in town. Well, they're missing Ryan Finley, though. What's John Kerr going to do? Well, they're missing Ryan Finley from the starting lineup. They're going to hope he becomes a super sub because one of the things with Duke to be able to really make a role to, you know, this, this year. They need to have the big players scoring big goals in the big games, and this is a big game, a non-conference game in the middle of October. Meanwhile, UCSB starting to put it together. Could be a team that'll be right here on this field for the final. Well, they want to be here real bad. They've won six of the last seven after, after struggling a little bit right at the beginning. They are tough to play at home, and that's why they want to be here in the middle of December. All right, Keith, let's take a look now at the NSCAA, HendrickCars.com. Top 25, Akron still number one. Yeah, they're still number one there. They had an over Overtime win against Penn State to stay there, followed by Louisville. These two teams are kind of moving away from the pack a little bit. You, know, you go down Connecticut again after losing to Maryland. They pop back. They beat Providence 3-0. UC Irvine, the other team that's tied with Santa Barbara for the Big West right now at the top. But then Butler, you got to give a shout out there. 11-0-0. Still no losses, no ties for Butler. All right, when we flip the page, it's Jorge Salcedo's UCLA Bruins at 13. Yeah, another California team up there. 8-2-1 for Jorge's team. Tulsa dropping a little bit after the, the great start that they had. And then from the Ivy, representing them, Brown and Penn. Penn a one nothing in overtime win over AU and Brown's still there despite a 3-0 loss to Jimmy Barlow's Princeton team. And then of course Mark versus South Carolina, our opening game on Fox Soccer there at number 20. And Keith, who do you like in the final five? Well, we look at the final five. I mean, you gotta, I want to go down to number 24 and 25. Loyola Marymount yet another team from California in the top 25. And Ralph Lundy with the College of Charleston really dominating the Southern Conference at number 25. Your top 25 is presented by HendrickCars.com. 80 franchises, 5,000 cars, over over 100,000 photos, one website, HendrickCars.com. Let's take a look now at your NSCA Players of the Week. Will Bruin with 10 goals now, had three goals last week. He's your NSCAA Men's Player of the Week. And then on the women's side, from Maryland, Colleen Deegan with the game winner in the final seconds. She is your NSCAA Women's Player of the Week. And here in Santa Barbara, the UCSB Gauchos put on a clinic. They knock off Duke by a score of 2-0. to zero. And Keith Tabatsik, we, we roll to the recap. Danny Barrera, it's all about just sticking with it. Yeah, it really, it really is, Dean. It's the way to put it. It's a Danny Barrera show on this first goal. That's him putting the cross in. A poker with the head on it. Noni putting it back across. And there's Barrera coming back in. Very alert, heading the ball. Past Bell Shaw, and we have another look at this how Danny Barrera comes in and catches the Duke defense with his backs to him. 1 0. This is early in the second half. And then later on, as Duke is pushing forward, Michael Davis puts a through ball into Sam Garza. Sam Garza gets his sixth goal of the year. This seals the game 2 0 for Santa Barbara. They go to 7 3 and 2 in front of over 11,000 people. It'll be a great place for the College Cup. Speaking of great events, how about the NSCA Coaches Convention? Registration is open now for the world's largest annual gathering of soccer coaches. Don't miss it. Go to NSCAA.com.